Alright YouTube, the moment you all been waiting for. My green screen unboxing by M. Lee. Yay! <laughs> I know a lot of you random watchers out there are like, what the heck? You know, a lot of people have been waiting for me to get my green screen. When I say a lot of people, I mean a lot of people. Hey man, when you gonna get the green screen? You need a green screen, man. Come on, man. You got a green screen? You need to get green screen, Emily. Emily, when you gonna get your green screen, man? Hey man, I wish you had a green screen, man. So, this is my green screen unboxing. You know, I'm excited about it, but more people out there that I do work for are way more excited than I am. So, I went with the uh, 10 by 12. The wall I'm using is roughly 8 by 7 but they don't have an 8, eight by 7 green screen so I got a 10 by 12 I was gonna get a, a 6 by 9 which is 6 feet wide and 9 feet tall but I don't like that 6 feet width I want something a little bit longer you know to cover a whole wall and I may not use the um, actual stands that host the green screen up I might pin it onto the wall that's how I might do my green screen Hope you guys don't see my legs kind of long to stop my boxers so as you see it comes with a bag uh, the bag looks cheap when I'm watching videos on YouTube but it's actually not that bad these straps are real thin and cheap though you know first impression of those are real thin um, but the actual bag is not, not all that bad Alright, so the reason they give you a bag is so that you can take it with you, which I doubt people would be taking the green screen with them, even though it's a good idea. But from what I gathered from this in particular green screen setup and stuff like that, it's real hard to take these green screens places because they're hard to set up, they're hard to tear down and, t and put together. Um, so it'll take people roughly 30 minutes to 45 minutes to tear down and 30 to 45 minutes to put up, you know, even if you are used to it. That's what I hear. So, um,. I'm not planning on bringing mine anywhere except for when I do my short uh, horror film. You know, I'll be shooting. I might take it somewhere. You know, but um, here's all the light bulb boxes and stuff like that you'll need for the soft boxes. This comes with two soft box lamps and then uh, one boom soft box that hangs above. I wish they had a kit that was a little bit more expensive, about $100 more, that came with stronger poles because every single green screen setup that you can buy on YouTube, I mean on YouTube, wow, on, uh, I'll about to say Facebook right now, <laughs> but uh, on uh, Amazon, they all have the same kind of poles and stuff like that, and I hear a lot of people saying that it's, it's real cheap and that they rip real easily, there's a green screen right here, pretty heavy, but um, they, I heard the poles, did I say they rip easily? I heard that the uh, the poles that holds the green screen up and the, and the lights and all that they're real thin and, and they they're like super cheap, you know. I wish they had like a kit that was a little bit more expensive that wasn't all that uh, cheap. So here are the uh, lights themselves. These are the lights. You know, you got to put together and stuff like that. And I hear that this comes with no directions. You know, this comes with a little bit of directions right here. But, you know, that's about it, you know. I'm real good at putting stuff together and figuring things out, so it's really no big deal, deal to me. But for people that's not, I think they really should have directions and stuff out there. Like, real fleshed out directions. So, here's one of the tripods for the lights. Wherever the case may be, yeah, it's real, like, cheap. This is like something you buy. It's just if somebody were to sell this separate, like it's one of these, you can buy this for like I don't know, five bucks. You know, it feels like the whole thing feels plastic. People say the screws get stri uh, stripped easy, stripped easily. I don't understand it. Like why don't why don't don't they? I can't talk. Why don't they just have one that's a little bit more expensive and have like more better poles? Like this is all like loose and stuff. Look at that. I can build one of these myself. That's better than this. But you know, I already knew what I was uh, getting, so I'm not really complaining. It like I don't know what I'm getting because people already wrote reviews. I do a lot of research on stuff before I buy it, <clears throat> especially if it's like a hundred dollars or more. I got this set up for two hundred dollars. There's another tripod leg, you know. 
Bam. Bam. There's some more boxes, which should have some more legs inside there. And these, these should be for the lights, I believe. Bam. Another one for the lights. And this one for the boom light that hangs up above your subject or whatever. And this is, oh, this is, what is this? I didn't see this inside of my unboxing. This looked like this looks like something. Oh, this must be for the load, the light, the boom light, so you can yeah adjust it going up and you know yeah that's what this is for. That concludes my unboxing. I will be doing a video showing you guys how it looks. I would put that into the same video, but I don't want to make a long video. So, um, yeah, and the green screen will be going on that wall right there from here all the way to here, and that's eight feet. And this is like seven feet going up. So I'm gonna have to roll the, some of the green screen up, which I don't have a problem with. And then on this wall right here, I'll be putting like a black background right there. So if I wanna do a black background, you know, I can, put that right there and that's like five feet by seven so yeah it's Vinny Boy M. Lee the hobby collector glad I got my green screen so now I can get some cooler stuff going on and things of that nature just advance my creativity with that said I'm out peace